Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe these days. I want to go ahead and just do a quick video here on the process of installing Windows 10 on the Surface Pro 9. Very similar process uh, as I did with the Surface Laptop 5. Actually, it's pretty much the same thing. I did go ahead and attach a Alcaterra detachable keyboard over here, the official Microsoft one. Though I have a bad feeling, uh, just if you actually checked out the previous video on the Laptop 5, getting Windows 10 to work on that, you may notice that a couple of things do not work. Touchscreen doesn't work. The keyboard and touchpad did not work on the laptop, so I'm guessing this is not going to work either. So in this case, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and plug in an external uh, USB mouse. Over here, I do have a USB-C splitter. Basically converts it to three USB ports. And I actually do need that to go ahead and get the thumb drive, which I have plugged in here with a fresh copy of Windows 10, just recently downloaded off Microsoft, uh, all good to go. So let's go ahead and get this uh, process started. Just uh, your Surface Pro 9 with uh, basically Windows uh, 11 on it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. So the process here is to actually turn the, hold down the volume down button whether on the uh, touch on the keyboard, but let's just pretend you don't have one. You go ahead and do that right over here on the uh, device itself, in this case up here, and then go ahead and power it on while keeping the volume down button pressed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. with try to do it with one hand. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on, and I'm still holding the volume down button at the moment. You'll see the screen actually shut off again, and it's gonna come right back on, perfectly fine. Keep an eye on your thumb drive. If it does have an LED indicator, you'll probably start seeing it flash its little activity light at this time, which I actually do see my thumb drive. So just, uh, just keep the volume down button pressed. And as soon as you see that little indicator just before the Microsoft logo, there we go. You can go ahead and let it go. Looks like you are all set at this time. You'd be entering the uh, standard setup over here. So as I said before, touchscreen doesn't work, and it looks like the even the keyboard, nothing works on this here either. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a USB mouse. All right, so I got a little mouse plugged in over here. You can actually see that. Just gonna go ahead and continue with the standard installation process here. I'm gonna go ahead and lighten that up for you guys. Do a custom installation here, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the partitions over here. Basically, all the Windows 11 partitions and everything else installed there. Perfect. I'm just going to go click Next. And this process actually shouldn't take too long. Um, on the Laptop 5, even with a USB uh, thumb drive, uh, USB 2 thumb drive right there, uh, I don't think it took any more than five minutes, so this probably shouldn't take much longer. It may actually just reboot once and almost immediately take you into the initial boot up of Windows 10. We can go ahead and proceed with everything. I'm not sure if audio will be working here. I'm going to probably guess it probably will be. But again, we will not be able to use a touchscreen or the keyboard. We're going to have to completely rely on the mouse and choose a little accessibility option to use the on-screen keyboard to go ahead and type in things like a username, password, Wi-Fi password if you choose to connect to Wi-Fi during the setup process, which I usually don't. I usually have to do that later. But that's completely up to you, so just demonstrating to you that yes, you definitely can put Windows 10 on the Surface Pro 9. Now additionally, if you want to actually get a little bit of bonus points, um, go ahead and visit Microsoft. You can actually Google it and just search online for Windows 10 drivers for your Surface Pro 9. You're probably going to be presented a couple of results. And one of the results is going to be the unofficial Microsoft website result. We can go ahead and download uh, drivers and firmware for your Surface Pro 9. It will give you the option for Windows 10 and also Windows 11. Now, they did mention at some point on the website that they probably won't be updating the Windows 10 uh, file. That doesn't mean your device is not going to be receiving any new updates or drivers. Um, once you actually do a Windows update, you'll see that if there's actually a new driver for some device here or even firmware, which is quite common, I bet you it's probably going to be one or two um, you know, showing up in Windows updates, whether or not they actually apply, but you will definitely see them. That will definitely still be coming in, so no worries there. No need to fret about that. But go ahead and download that file and go ahead and put it on your Windows 10 
thumb drive right over here because once we're done with this installation, I'm going to go ahead and immediately run the executable to get the drivers and everything installed here. Now, the reason I like to do that is because even though Windows, Windows Update can definitely go ahead and do that for you, uh, it'll be a little cumbersome to actually go ahead and get uh, Wi-Fi drivers installed, reboot, you know, just basically slow you down. The executable that is downloadable from Microsoft site, that is actually a bulk of all the drivers and firmware you will actually need for your device. You, you actually see, I'll demonstrate to you that once it's done and installed, I'll go ahead and reboot the device. Uh, obviously, it'll probably be prompting me to do that anyway. You'll immediately see that everything device manager is up and running and there are gonna be no unknown devices there, which is good. You definitely don't want any. So it looks like we're almost to the initial boot of Windows 10 where Cortana is gonna start speaking to us and uh, take it from there. If anyone's wondering why I'm installing Windows 10 on this, it's just a demonstration. Uh, you definitely do have the option. If anyone says you can't put Windows 10 on these devices, that is just not true. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the... No. Oh. I actually didn't know that you can just click on that mic and make Cortana stop speaking. <laughs> I always, always mute the volume, or just put it down. So let's go ahead and just uh, proceed here with the standard setup here. Just try to adjust the screen here in case it's a little too bright for everyone. I might have helped. Go ahead and click on yes here. Skip. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on, I don't have internet at this point. I'll connect to Wi-Fi later. Continue limited setup. So over here is where we'll hit a uh, snag if we do not have a keyboard plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Make your computer easier. And get that over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here again. So I can go ahead and just type in a username, whichever username you want. And there we go. Turn off all this creepy stuff here for now. Lower the volume a little bit. Hmm, don't need Cortana at this point in time. And there we go. I'll go ahead and run the executable once we are done with the initial boot for Windows 10. And here we are. Obviously no icons and pretty much a lot of things missing all around. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to jump into personalize. Just change the theme here. You can see here there's no uh, uh, activation issue or anything preventing me at this point in time from um, you know changing personalizing or changing anything. So there's that executable on the thumb drive, Surface Pro 9 Win 10. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it over on the desktop. Probably might run a little faster if I actually uh, install it directly from the device as opposed to um, having to run off the device over here. So I'm just going to just basically personalizing some stuff here to the way I like it. <laughs> I turned it off and it's still there. It's, it's, it's just so strange. So here we are. Good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on install. It's probably gonna give me a notification whether it has permission to install, but you will immediately see a couple of things happening once this, uh, once these files, once these drivers and everything from this file start to install. Obviously we do not have a graphics driver because if you observe here, there is no brightness on this. So you're gonna see all that changing very soon. Now, the good news is if anyone, if anyone is wondering, do you have 120 hertz 
in the refresh rate on this device in Windows 10? Absolutely yes. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you as well too. Definitely a big plus, but a very valid concern whether you still have some features for the Surface Pro 9. And I remember doing this even on the Surface Pro 8. Um, if you are basically, quote, downgrading your operating system to Windows 10. In terms of time, this executable usually takes about four to five minutes to install. It's probably been about a minute, minute and a half going on two. But you only see the, the progress um, going forward as soon as the basically the screen flickers, your display driver installs, and everything else is basically loading and installing for you. Wi-Fi drivers, a um, bunch of system uh, files and everything, chipset drivers, who knows, you can probably guess it, and it's installing. Of course, very important, touch screen. All right, looks like we're getting there. Screen just uh, picked up to like 100 brightness right there. Audio drivers look like they just kicked in. Looks like Wi-Fi is kicked in as well too. <laughs> Still doing its work and about three minutes in. You might see a notification saying restart required. Just wait for the executable process over here to finish doing its job, and then we'll go ahead and reboot. Looks like we are done here. Gonna go ahead and reboot it, and let's see where we go. Whoop, the volume's actually quite a bit louder than I thought it would be. I think a good reboot will probably take care of that. Now, if you never actually installed any firmware or downloaded any firmware from the Windows Update when you did have your original Windows 11 installation, the file may have actually installed some firmware for your device over here. You immediately see that, and uh, it gives you that message about installing system files, and you see that little process bar taking a good minute or two to install before the machine even boots up. Looks like I didn't actually do this here because I did go ahead and install some firmware already for the device. But it looks like a couple of things to note. Touchscreen is now working. And also the keyboard is now working as well too. And I just wanna go ahead and demonstrate one thing for you here. Jump into the device manager. And of course, everything is no unknown devices here. Everything is Pretty much good to go. I'll go ahead and click on a couple of things here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the display drawer. You see your Iris XE graphics. Speaking of graphics, let's go ahead and increase that refresh rate to 120. Click on advanced display. Go ahead and see refresh rate, and you'll see the option for 120 over here. And it looks like it is working, and immediately do see the smoother uh, refresh rate on this. So yes, absolutely, you can install Windows 10 on the Surface Pro 9 without a problem. You can now go ahead and jump in and personalize your device any way you want, get your apps and programs installed, connect to Wi-Fi, 
and start watching some YouTube videos or whatever it is you want to do like this one. Anyway, if you have any questions on this process, go ahead and um, shoot a comment. Let me know. Uh, any, what's your experience on this? Uh, um, you know, just let me know if you have any issues or any comments uh, whatsoever. Shoot that like and subscribe button if you found this video useful, entertaining, or just educational to know, yes, you do have the option to install uh, Windows 10 on your Surface Pro 9. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And as always, stay safe. Take care.